Okay, so we're going to do a video on subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Remember, the bottom number is your denominator. These are your numerators. Now, when it comes to fractions, adding and subtracting is actually more difficult than doing multiplying and dividing. But it's real. I mean, it honestly isn't difficult. The only thing you need to, need to be able to solve this is to know your multiplication facts. If you know your multiplication facts and you can subtract, then you got this. So, the way that we subtract or add these is that we got to make our denominators the same. We got to make our denominators the same. So, for one like this, we want to find what's called the least common multiple. You might see L, C, M on some papers. Don't let that mess you up or anything. That just means least common multiple. So if you remember, multiples are numbers that these numbers can multiply into. So if I'm thinking of like multiples of 5, my multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Those are all multiples. Those are all numbers that 5 can multiply into. So you might already know what's the uh, least common multiple just by looking at these. But if you don't, you can always just write, it, write out the multiples for them. So like my multiples for 4 would be 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. Alright, so then I go and I start looking at my multiples of 8. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and I can honestly stop there because I already see a common multiple that they have. The least, L means least, the smallest. The smallest common multiple they have is 8. They have 8 in common. So all we got to do is make both denominators be 8. Luckily, this one's already 8, so we don't have to change anything with this number. So the way I do that is by multiplying. So I'm going to change 3 fourths into something that I can use. I'm going to change 3 fourths. I got to ask myself, what fraction will be equal to 3 fourths where the denominator is 8? So if I want my denominator to equal 8, I do that by multiplying 4 times 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. Now anytime you do something to the bottom of a fraction problem or the denominator, you also do the exact same thing to the top. So I'm going to say times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 fourths is the exact same thing as 6 eighths. So I can actually go up here and change my fraction to instead of 3 fourths, I can change it to 6 eighths. So I just do 6 over 8. And now I just subtract. Now remember when you're subtracting the denominators, you're, I mean, I'm sorry, when you're subtracting fractions, your denominator does not change. So you can go ahead and leave that as an 8, and you just subtract the numerator. So you just say 6 minus 5 is 1. So 4 eighths, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, 3 fourths minus 5 eighths equals 1 eighth. So all I did was change 3 fourths into 6 eighths. All you do is get these bottom ones matching, and you do that by finding a common multiple. All you got to do is know your multiplication facts. And whatever you do to the bottom, see I did 4 times 2 equals 8. To get a matching 8, I got to do to the top, so 3 times 2 equals 6. So that's how 3 fourths became 6 eighths. I just changed it to where we could have something that we could easily subtract. Because remember, the denominator at the bottom does not change. So hopefully that helps you out with this. Just finding the least common multiple and just knowing your uh, multiplication facts is all you really need to do. So got any questions, please let me know.